everything now! An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Hi. Hi, everybody. It's me, Mr. Grayson. I'm just sorting through my notes here. It looks like, uh... Looks like someone has been coming into my office and kind of writing on my pieces of paper. Um, which is not... Not fun for me. Um, very weird notes. Uh... Dick isn't working incorrect. Uh, sing to penis. Leech, Billy Joel. Improvised hoedown. I don't know what these notes are, but they're really, uh, they're really messing me up. I'm just gonna get a fresh page, kind of. There's a couple things on it, but we'll, we'll go with it. As you can tell, my suit is normal sized. Again. <laughs> I went back to the dry cleaners and they fixed it. They have like a suit shrinking and enlarging machine, which uh, I was confused on and I was like, well, you made it seem like I was crazy when my suit was bigger before, and, and then you have that machine and they still, they were like, we don't know what you're talking about, dude. Anyway, happy to see everyone in the chat. How are we doing? Theo from Eden. Uh, VTAC versus the world, what's up? Salad Fork. Exploring with Pat, Just a Tiny Taste. Cat Spa. How are we doing? I am Mr. Grayson. I'm the head of hiring and firing here at the Everything Now Show, Everything Now Corporation. Uh, you are my board of execs sitting in on my interviews for tonight to see who we're going to hire. A couple things before we get started. If you sub, subscribe to the channel, you can choose someone for me to fire. If you think you're clever and you think it would be funny to fire me, don't do that. We've done it plenty of times. It just it just prolongs. It just prolongs it. You, you can go for it. We're not going to stop you. I'm just just giving you a heads up. Five dollars gives you a snack time. I'm uh, legally not allowed to um, consume any food during my work hours except for if it is a snack time. So that does help me out. Uh, usually it's banana chips or fruit. Um, but maybe there's something new. Maybe there's something else a little fun for me to eat. We also have a sub goal for creating a, a, an employee. What that means is we'll go to our employee design laboratory where, we, where you get to design your own perfect employee for the Everything Now Corporation and then they come interview with me. Uh, I think we were showing the highlight reel before, but we got some kinks to work out. Got some kinks to work out. Uh, last one went kind of uh, bananas and um, tried to, you know, kind of like have sex with me and stuff. <laughs> Seems fun, but not very great for a work workplace environment. Um, how are we doing? How are, executives, uh, let me know what's the latest you've been up to in your like very uh, well off lives. You know, it's uh, it's not every day that you get a peek into what the execs are up to. How are you guys doing? How's it going, Belt? Theo from Eden says, that's good. That's great. Uh, also for our uh, later on, we'll be going and um, interviewing people that had been fired from their past job to find them a new job at the Everything Now Corporation. And we'll take uh, suggestions for images from the Discord. So join the Discord if you haven't already. I think it's pinned in the chat. Internet Crow says, eating chips and sala. Uh, exploring with Pat says being a big gay. Uh, Snappa69 says natural gas rallied bigly today. Yes. Let's go. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Natty gas? 
There's also, uh, there's also sound alerts that you can, uh, trigger. You can make me fart. Um, you know, that's, that's just a little fun thing for all, all of you. You can just make me, you can make me toot whenever you want. Um, yep, yep. There's some other stuff. I think we can call, like, uh, references or stuff like that. You can check it out. It's all down below or on the screen or something. You can find it. You can figure it out. So, let's get our first person in. But before we do that, I need a suggestion for, uh, I don't have it on my notes. So, the, the position that we are hiring for, we need to know who, uh, what, their, what, what job opening we have that we're trying to fill. A uh, new Mr. Grayson. Thanks. Um, that'd be awkward if I was interviewing for the person that would be taking my, my place. Hmm. Boot scooter, parking attendant. Uh, office fridge cleaner, pencil sharpener. Um, lifeguard. And that's the chair that they'll be sitting in when we interview for them. Um, I like to start off with something, uh, you know, some, some of the more mundane positions you think you, you'd say, um, just to, you know, start us off cool, calm, collected. Let's do a parking attendant. Thank you, Internet Crow, for that suggestion. We're going to be interviewing for our parking attendant. We have on-site parking here at the Everything Now Corporation. It goes down, uh, the parking garage goes down about 54 floors. All the way, it starts to get a little hot down there, all the way down. You gotta make sure that everyone's parking correctly. And they have their badges. And all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, and remember you can ask them questions. So, keep your interview, interview ears and eyes and mouth sharp. Come on in! Hello. Welcome, welcome, hi! How's it going? Hello! Hi! Wow. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, how are you? Good. Great. Uh, I'm Mr. Grayson. Mm, me, Greg. You, Greg. Me, Greg. Grog? Grog. Grog. Me, Grog. Grog. Me, Grog. How do you spell that? Mm-grr-ah-gy-ah-gy-ah. Good. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I'm a little gassy. It's uh, something I'm working on. You understand? I'm happy that you understand. So, Grog. Uh, do you have a last name, Grog? What? A lot, a lot, like a surname? Grog. 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 Two Grogs. Me, Grog. Me, Grog. Me, Grog. We're just gonna go with Grog. Grog. So, um, excited to have you here. Um, Me excited as well. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of, you know, uh, this is for a parking attendant position. And I uh, want to get, you know, we can start off by uh, what what made you want to apply for this, this position? Well, me, previous job, uh, push, log, for tribe, uh, satisfying but pay not good. Mm. No have benefit, no health care, yeah, no four hundred one k. Yeah. Mm, limited, sort of five year plan. Mm. Feeling stuck. Okay. Me feeling stuck. Me feeling like I need to shift gears. Right. Well, those are all great reasons. I mean, we have. <laughs> Here at the Everything Now Corporation, we provide all of our full-time employees with uh, ample benefits, mm. health care. You do dental? Okay. Uh, dental, yeah. Mm. We do dental. Um, we all do, it's all in-house because mm. we kind of are like a, a blanket parent company. So okay. we, have, we have dental. You do therapy? Uh, we do. We have mental health issues. Yeah. Nothing that would prevent Grog from doing job, but mm. struggle with depression. Okay. Yeah, no, we, we definitely have... Maybe uh, related to job. Yeah, push yeah. log. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and yeah, we have a reference that we're going to call. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Um, th there's kind of a list here of different references. Is there a specific reference that you want us to call? Or yes. Uh, me put uh, one of me tribe mate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Member of me tribe. Yeah, Greg. It looks like. Yeah, Greg. Okay. We're gonna call it Greg. Always get tangled up. Mm. This Greg. Hi. Oh, that's quick. Who calling? Oh, sorry. Um, hi, Greg. Uh, my name is Mr. Grayson. I work at the Everything Now Corporation. I'm interviewing uh, one of your tribe mates, Grog, for the potential position. Uh, of the Grog. Lieutenant. Yes, Grog. Yes. Looking for a job. Yes, he's looking to become the next parking attendant. I was wondering if uh, you could provide, you know, any uh, anecdotal stories or, or experiences that you've had with him that would... Grog, huge pussy. <laughs> what? Grog, coddled pussy. No bootstrap, no hard work, always cry. Always say life hard. Always say mental health. Yeah, mental health fake. Yeah, you mentioned... Oh, you're saying mental health is fake. Mental health fake. Right. Kid today, don't work hard. What Greg say? Um, Greg is saying that you uh, you might be a, a little sensitive, which we we've discussed. Mm. That you know it's uh, yeah, mental health, which is very something you should. Mental health is important. Yeah. A t ask Greg to tell story about when Greg pushed big log. Hey, Greg, do you mind um, yes. speaking to the story of uh, when Grog, Grog uh, pushed, pushed the big log? Grog pushed big log. Grog cried many times, say, too heavy, too much for one man. I say, when I, young man, I push log, no one tell me I can take break. My dad very mean to me. <clears throat> oh, okay. So I, so I don't care. Right, and your dad was, your dad was mean. Groog. He was Groog? Mm -hmm. He talked about Groog? Yes, his father Groog. <laughs> Groog's so mean to Greg. Me think Greg have difficulty accessing emotion because his father not let him cry. This is something Grog talked a lot about in therapy. Me tried to get Greg to go to therapy, me say, Greg! You feel, you seem like you're bottling up a lot. He say, shut up, Grog. I said, okay, whoa, whoa. This is something you should really talk to your therapist about, but lead a horse to water, you know. Greg don't need therapy. Greg need stiff drink of river water and be left alone. Dirty river water. That's the one make you funny. Uh, Greg has substance abuse issue with dirty river water. Right. <laughs> um, Greg, it's okay to go to therapy. I just found it. No. No, it not. Do you go therapy? Uh, I do, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Did not realize I was on phone with girl. Um, okay. Okay, Greg. Um, is there anything else related to the job? We're getting kind of off track here, but... Um... Uh, don't make push big log or grog cry. Okay, well, yeah, he won't be pushing any logs. Um, pushing any, He talked maybe about how Grog things. cry when push log. That whole reason Grog leave job. That, I say that, is Grog don't want push log before, not because too hard, because not fulfilling. Mm. Tell Greg. Grog is saying that, uh, you know, he wasn't crying uh, because it was too hard. He was crying because uh, he didn't feel fulfilled by the fact that he was pushing you know the what made Grog feel fulfilled? Hard work. Good day, hard work. Get job done. Father proud. That made Grog feel fulfilled. And father proud, and the dad comes back up again. He will be. One day, will be. And he hasn't said he's proud to you yet. It's not about job. Did you just fart? Did you just fart on phone go. call with Greg? I gotta go. Okay. Uh, well, that was insightful. Smell like fresh kill. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my, uh... Make me hungry. Okay.
So uh, uh, that was a night. Anyway, I, paid vacation. Yeah, we have two paid week, vacation days. Two weeks, two weeks paid paid vacation um, and company holidays. Uh, let's get away from the benefits though. I feel like you're kind of mm. reaching out. You know, we want to make sure you're ready for the job. Okay. Um, I just want to know, kind of speaking to you know this fulfillment thing. How do you how do you expect that? Um, and we got a snack time coming. Uh, how would you feel like this parking attendant job will be more fulfilling to you? Rather than pushing the log, like what's gonna what's gonna hey, really you know, time got here. fulfill you mm. more here? Hmm. Thank you. Grog think work with other mm. people important. Is this the same bag? Yeah. Uh, in my car for months. This is. Right, hmm. One. one more. All right. Ooh. Grog think, interact with other people, nice. Mm -hmm. See people drive in car, say hello, good morning, good night. When Grog push log, Grog by himself in woods. Right. Many hours push Grog, or push log, <laughs> push log, push Grog. <laughs> you know? Oh, no, but seriously. Uh, and Grog no car? Uh, Grog car, Grog car, one of car with, um, no bottom, mm -hmm. pick up, run with feet. Flintstone car. Mmm. Grog no Flintstone One car. big wheel, front, one mm -hmm. big wheel, back, long, mm -hmm. two big piece wood, connect. Good mileage. Oh, I bet. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. after a big meal. Mmm. You just go. And long sleep. Mm-hmm. Three, four mile. Three, four miles, and then you're done. If get good sleep and eat big food. Got it. I want to yeah. make sure we're um, we're uh, getting questions from the, the the execs in the chat here. I don't know. If mm. This is what this is the executive board that's kind of interviewing with us here as well. Okay. Um, Hello. There's a uh, certain valet options that you can have when parking here. Do mm -hmm. you have comfortable driving cars that aren't? Like a bottomless Flintstone esque car. Mm. They have wheel. They have the four wheels usually. Mm, that more than Grog car, but Grog understand. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Cool. Uh, Bluetooth. They Blues? have Bluetooth. Yeah. Do you have Bluetooth? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Apple AirPlay. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes, I mean, yeah, it depends on the model. Yeah, Grog just got uh, iPhone 13. Oh, wow. Yeah, Grog use, prefer to use Google Map mm. rather than Apple Map because sometimes Apple Same. Map GPS not have good directions. It seems like Grog uh, was an Android user before. Yeah. Grog used to use Samsung Galaxy, <laughs> but Grog's tribe, everybody else use iPhone and Grog is always green text bubble. Right. And Grog's tribe says, Grog, you're ruining the group chat. Mm. Whenever we try to use Re React, it says, you know, Greg, thumbs uh, up. Yeah. Grog liked quotations, this message. Yes. But Grog liked, you know, not have to have bespoke special cable for everything. Right. You know, once. You know, Grog not like Apple ecosystem because then you need iPad and Apple Watch, and now Grog have everything Apple. Mm -hmm. So it's nice. It worked. They Has ecosystem. Are yes. You gonna get the, are you gonna get the goggles and make them out? Uh, Grog don't know. Grog watched uh, the the like keynote. Grog think prohibitively expensive right now. Mm -hmm. Sort of more of proof of concept, but Grog think once. They get rid of the big battery pack and stuff, and you can just kind of like wear it on your face. Grog <laughs> think that'll probably, that'll probably be cool. Right. That's uh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I think uh, snap a. Uh, Grog sweeten the deal now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These for you. And uh, Grog just put three rocks on my desk. Um. And you can keep those. There's no need to. No. No. Oh, you just took one away. Well, two for you now. 
This grog give you after grog get job. Oh, okay. And show on camera. <laughs> That's pretty big rock. This nicest one. That is, ni that is the nicest one. I'm not like <laughs> saying that these rocks hold any value to me, but if I I would like that one out of all <laughs> all three of them. If you put them all together, there that's just objectively the best rock. Um, I wanted to go back casual to, uh, Friday. Casual Friday. You do casual Friday. Uh, depending on your job. Does Grog dress up for this? But Grog not like wear this every day. Oh, this is your dress up attire. This is formal Grog, but sometimes Grog not like wearing so much clothes. Okay. Yeah, for the parking attendant, you probably have a specific uh, Everything Now Corporation polo. Hmm. You would, did you have any trouble wearing just polo? polo? Grog genitals still exposed? Uh, no, you'd have to wear uh, pants. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. What Grog cut hole in pants for genitals exposed? No. I mean, there's no one telling you you can or can't wear underwear, but mm. you'd have to wear, you can't expose yourself to uh, anybody on the premises. Hmm. Okay, Grog talked to Tribe about that. Um, hmm, hmm. Okay, Grog want job. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get let's get a pull up. Any last questions uh, while we vote for Grog? Uh, there was somebody who mentioned uh, what your five year plan is. Hmm. Grog work his way up. So Grog start in parking attendant, maybe become. Chief Creative Officer, Whoa, that's Chief a Financial jump. Officer, maybe switch, buy Everything Now Corporation, sell Everything Now Corporation, retire happy. Mm, wow. Five years. That's quite the... Six, quite the six years. Six, six years. Okay, yeah, that's more realistic. Uh, Jane Nels 123 says, have you met any famous dinosaurs? <laughs> Um, famous dinosaurs. Who would be a famous dinosaur? You like know Barney. From, yeah, Barney. Is that Barney. Um, What's you know one? Sinclair Gas, the the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. brontosaurus. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know him. Do you know any of the dinosaurs from their back? Mm, no, I know friend of friend. Mm. Friend of friend. Yeah. You Just like rock rocks. rocks. No, they're they're <laughs> nice. They're not the more I touch them. Yeah, the more they're I'm pretty nice good. rocks. Yeah, they're good. But ultimately it's not up to me, it's up to um the council. Oh, this is a good question. Uh Lou still says, Does Grog uh does Grog of a criminal record? Grog of criminal record when Grog young, you know, wild, crazy grog. Okay. Yeah. Like, but nothing major, Grog. Uh Smash Oog overhead with Boulder. Okay. Mm, goom, mm, oog die. Oh. Is that like a is that like a manslaughter charge? Mm, it during um how you word uh during not laws time. Mm. So sort of like purge in our tribe every oh. year, but it happened right after purge end sun goes down sun up still grog have big rock gonna get you oog sun go down right as uh, grog hit on head so you did have the intent to kill and murder but it okay during purge time but poorly timed because right as grog hit on head sun go down and then it not allowed again. Right, kind of technicality. Technical, technicality. Well, even though you killed someone, it looks like you know it doesn't matter because we 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 voted you through. You're okay. Job. You're the new park attendant. Congratulations, Grog. Uh, very happy to have you here, and uh, very happy to have that that third rock. Right. Wow. Grog, man of word. Yeah, that's uh, that's nice. Grog, take selfie. Oh. 
Hold on. Uh, let's pan around. Grab, grab, try to do portrait mode. Oh. I think the portrait mode just ends up making me, me blur. Yeah, but it made Grog look awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Grog gonna post this on Instagram. Okay. Uh, well, excited for you, Grog. I'll, I'll see you on Monday. Okay. Thank you. And with that, we have hired someone. Wow, right off the bat. So great. Got one under our belt. Great stuff. How do we feel about hiring Grog? It seems like it was a it was a pretty good, pretty resounding vote there. Um, yeah, we should ask for his Instagram handle. Another one of the books. Uh, chat feel good. Can he drive Danger? Yeah, uh, he he did, drives like a Flintstone car, but he seemed pretty oh, he seemed pretty confident with driving other cars. Um, so let's get right into the next person. Again, just want to remind everybody. Fire someone, like I'll fire anyone you want if you subscribe. Five dollars for a snack time. And that sub goal is looking just so lonely with that <laughs> zero there. Just so lonely. If we have 15 subs, you get to create your own employee. And it can you can really make a freak if you want. Thank you, Jay Nels. 48 months! Holy shit! That's four years. Jesus. That's four years right there. Thank you, Jay Nels. Wow, a real head right there. Uh, and let me know who you want. Who you want to fire? I don't know if it was in the in the in the sub message, but um, let me know who you want. Who you want to fire, and I'll fire them. Oh, uh, my mom. Okay. Okay. Kind of one of those weird things is like I haven't called my mom in like a couple weeks and you kind of feel guilty and you're like, this is the first time I'm calling her, it's fire. This is Shelly. Hi. Hi, mom. It's weird that you say this is Shelly, like you should have my number said. I was, I was, I'm driving right now, so oh. I couldn't look at the caller ID. Oh, okay. Um, how are you? How's it going? I'm good. Long time, no talk. How you yeah, been? Yeah. Are you still ketamine free? I am still uh, K-free. I am K-free. Good. So yeah, proud. So proud of my boy. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. Just, just working right That's now. That's so great. Yeah. I'm going. I'm, I'm on my way to a date right now. Oh no way! Another one. Yeah, I think this is the one. Okay. Great. What's his name? Derek. Oh. All right. Seem nice. He's cool. Oh, okay. I don't know about nice, but he's cool. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool and like a like a bat, like a like he's. He has so many tattoos. Oh god. Okay. They're all Chinese words. Interesting. And but he's, he's not Chinese. But he's. <laughs> he's not. Okay. Well, mom. Uh... I'm picking him up. He doesn't have a car. Okay. Great. Great, good to hear. Uh, I'm sorry to do this. I know, I know, I should call more. Um, yeah, it's so good to hear from you. But uh, you know how everything's kind of connected with the corporation, like it kind of bleeds into my personal life. And yeah, they, kind they of kidnap have, you sometimes. Yeah, and they have complete and total control over all my decisions. Uh -huh. So this is kind of leading into another decision that I have to make, uh, and I have to. I have to fire you. I have to fire you. As your mother? As as my mother, yeah. So I wouldn't be your mother anymore? I guess I guess not. Hmm. I guess uh Honestly, yeah. that's okay. What? Derek says he doesn't like being tied down by commitments and Well, this is a first date that you're going on. Yeah, but that's that was one of his three hinge prompts. And oh. he doesn't like being held down by commitments? Was yeah, he was prompt? like I don't dig chicks with kids. I don't want to be tied down. So I was hiding you, but this might actually work out great. Oh. Okay. Uh, I was hoping that you'd be a little bit more torn up about it. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? Anything is for my, well, I can't say my boy anymore, but anything for you to, to succeed in business, I'm so proud of you. 
Thank you. Uh, and your dad, I assume, is too, wherever he's at. Yeah. He's uh, in a garage somewhere, probably. Cool. Working on some cars. Um, mm. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Shelly. Yeah, you're welcome, uh, Craig. Mm, that felt strange. Yeah, it feels weird. All right, well, I'm at Derek's house. His mom's screaming at him in the kitchen, so. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'll let you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was rough. Um, we built a world to resubscribe for four months. Fire the very next person to come on. <laughs> no, it actually says specifically, fire the very next person to come on, please, before we establish anything about them. Okay. No? That would be... It's... Okay, let's, let's just pick a position then. Um, who are we... What, what position are we hiring for? Give me a position, any any position. CEO, so this will be the person who's the new CEO. Thank you, Mountain Dew, uh, Mountain Drew Kickstart. Um, this person's interviewing for the CEO, everything now, show where we're gonna fire them from the hypothetical job of that. Um, do they get that wrong a lot, Mountain Drew? waiting for this person to come on in. <laughs> hey, hey there, what's your thing? Am I in uh, you're fired. You could have seen what that guy was all about. You could have really seen what that guy was all about. He seemed like he had a lot going on. Uh, but now he's got nothing going on. Because we fired them. So, uh, thank you for the sub and <laughs> that suggestion. Um, all right, let's get a, let's get another position. Let's get another suggestion for a position here. Yeah, too much exposition. TBH is going for him. Uh, Jester. Um, Selma Hayek impersonator. <laughs> I miss our old Selma Hayek impersonator. Yeah. She was so cool. Yeah, she was cool. We can't, I mean, we can't continue yeah, after we that. Gotta that. We gotta take that. Thank you, Scott, with too many T's. Uh, we're interviewing for a new Selma Hayek impersonator. Um, great. Oh, looks like they're here. Hey! Hey, come on in. Hey, how you Hi. doing? Hey! Hi! Hi! So nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, how's Hi. it going? It's good. I'm, I'm Mr. Grayson. Let's, uh... Mr. Grayson, Rick. 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 Hey, Rick. Yeah. How are you? Oh, uh, well, if, you, uh, if you're asking, uh, and you want me to be honest, I'm not doing too well. Okay. Actually, and uh, they told me not to bring this up at the beginning of the, in the, beginning of the interview. <laughs> they told me to wait till the end after you have the job to bring this up. Uh, but uh, once I am hired, I will have to take a short leave of absence. Wait, sorry, can you just... Um, sure. Sorry, just hold that for a second. We built a world. Uh, thank you for the gift. Uh, let me know who you'd like to fire. Hello? This is Mr. Grayson. Hello. Craig. I ha I'm sorry, I didn't know who else to call. Oh, hey, oh. Uh... Uh, Shelly, hi. I drove Derek to the bowling alley and his friends were there and he just used me to get a ride to the bowling alley. Oh, he didn't even go on a date with you? No. He said, wait right here. And then he went inside and then I saw he was just bowling with his friends. Oh. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, can I call you back? Oh. Shelly, I gotta call our okay. friends for this guy. This okay, I guess, I guess that's sorry. fine, I but that's I was terrible. hoping that you could be my terrible. son. I'm okay. Sorry. Who was that? That was my former mother. Oh, congrats! Um, no, it's kind of, it's kind of tough. To totally get that. What I was gonna say before you picked up that call is, uh, I'm gonna have to take a leave of absence when I get the job because uh, my brother died. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yep, it's really too bad. We Thanks. didn't, uh, we didn't really communicate a lot at the end. Actually, probably for like the last forty years of his life, we didn't really communicate that much. Okay. 
Yep. I just want to, before you smell anything, I just want you to know that I did uh, fart a little bit. That was you? Yeah, I just, yeah. That smells awful. I'm sorry. It smells really bad. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But um, if you need to do it again, just do you, uh, you do you. Hey, Mr. Grayson, you gotta fire this guy. I gotta fire this guy? Yeah. But we also have to call a reference of his. And, yeah, maybe we call a reference first and then fire him. So my brother died, I hadn't talked to him for 40 years, and his name was Ted. Ted. Okay. And I have to I have to take a leave of absence because he died. And your name is Rick. My name is Rick. Great. Didn't talk to him a lot at the end. Well, there. we can also like prolong your start date so you start after it. That would be perfect, actually. Uh, that so would you, be perfect. So you have like a list of references here. Is there anyone that you'd like me to call specifically, or should I just kind of go down the list? Uh, you can really call anyone. Anyone's probably going to say the same thing that I'm going to need a little bit of a break before we start the job. But uh, go ahead and call. Is my mom on there? Yeah, your mom's on there. Go ahead and call my mom. What's Sorry about your mom, by the way. I know that. I didn't. What's your mom's that. name? Uh, uh, Go Gloria. Gloria. Ringing. Awesome. Hey! <laughs> Hi, is this Gloria? What's up? Hi, I, I'm here with uh, Rick. I'm, my name is Mr. Grayson. I'm currently... Uh, what uh, the fuck's he doing there? He's got his brother's funeral. Yeah, well, he was interviewing to be the next uh, Selma Hayek impersonator at our at our corporation. Be honest, be honest. How, how's he doing? He's good. He's smiling, but he says he's not doing good. I'm doing bad emotionally because of my brother's death. Tell him to do the line. Tell him to do the line. Do the line. She says, do the line. Do the line. As Frida Kahlo, I can't believe this. Oh, I heard that over the phone. That was so good. My little put him. And what is that line? That's from Frida. Oh. Which she's in. And I plays Frida Kahlo. Right. Salma Hayek does. <laughs> he told me about this job weeks ago. Got it. Yep. Uh, What's yeah, she so, saying, by the way? What? What's my mom don't, saying? I'm don't put don't fucking, don't fucking do, don't fucking, I don't want to know. You don't want me to put you on speakerphone? Maybe. Okay, I, I won't, I won't put you on speakerphone, that's okay. Uh, so I guess that's a good way to start off. I just wanted to, you know, get more of a, uh, more context on, on why I should hire uh, Rick as a Selma Hayek, Selma Hayek person. Uh, oh, Plastic Citizen, tip $10 to unfire him, give him a chance. That's uh, great, I love you, Plastic Citizen. We haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet, I'm telling you. He's talking about me, isn't he? Like, really? No, he, he, hasn't, no, he hasn't really mentioned you. Um, what the fuck? Is there any other, like, uh, things that would qualify him as a, as a great Selma Hayek impersonator? I think he, he's like, I know he's seen Till Dusk Till Dawn. Mm. At least once. Right. Right? I don't know, ask him. Oh, have you seen uh, From Dusk Till, Dusk Till Dawn? Yeah, at least once. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. What did he say? Okay. Um, any other like uh, lines? Did you just do that one line? How's my mom doing, by the way? Rick's asking how you're doing. I'm actually great for like my son dying. Yeah, that's gotta be, that's gonna be tough. Her son died. My brother died. That's yeah. how it works. You know, I think I think you know, if it was my brother, it'd be worse. But sons are okay. Really? You know, it's the brother relationship. That really gets you. You're talking about the brother relationship. The brother the relationship. Yeah, if my, if like my, 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 my buddy brother Danny. Oh boy, I don't know what I'd do. She's talking well, about like, the buddy brother Danny. But the thing. mother, but the mother son relationship is pretty important. Like you know, you'd be. Says upset. who? Name one Selma Hayek movie. She's a mother. Well, Name one. Like you'd be upset if like your son called you and like fired you over the phone. Like, that'd be pretty upsetting, right? Like. I don't know. Is he my brother? I guess it's not as strong a relationship as I, as I thought it was. Um, okay, well, uh, anything else you'd like to add before I continue interviewing? Tell him, tell him, tell him, do the line again for me. Like, like for me, this time. Do the okay. line. Can I put you on speaker? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm okay with it now. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to put your mom on speaker. Great, that sounds great. Hey, mom, how you I doing? Bottom! Hey, good, baby? hey! Tell me what's good, baby. Let's shake it. Oh, well, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty grieving over my brother's death. If I'm being honest. Oh, I can empathize. If yeah. my Danny died, I don't know what I'd do. I know the brothers, the brother, the buddy brother relationship is really but strong. I'm telling you, you, have, you have a son. You're not gonna give one shit. Wow, you're so wise for your yeah. age. So do the thing. The what thing? Do the thing. 
Oh, come on. You want me to do the I we barely I don't even know if I have the job yet. Mom, come on. You gotta fight for what you want. Okay, I'll do the line. Get off my fucking back, Mom. Okay. I'm okay. All right. Ready, Mr. Grayson? I'm so excited. Adam Sandler, our kids are out of control in Grown Ups. Holy fuck. That's that's my boy. That's Grayson, did our Selma Hayek impersonator come back? Uh, you thought that was, you thought that was, you thought that was good? That, that must be our What'd Selma Hayek impersonator. Oh my god, I'm that talking? was a different person. Hey! That was uncanny, I'm not talking to you. Fuck! I'm over the phone, and I thought that was so much. Hang on, my mom, yeah, yeah. please. So nice talking to you, Gloria. Thank you. Love you, mom. Love you, honey. Like a funeral for my brother. Maybe. Maybe. All right, we got a lot of things going on. Uh, there's just a subscription yeah. for uh, oh, Dealer's Choice from Mike, yeah, Mike from Space. Yeah, anyone. Thank you uh, for that subscription, Mike from Space. Uh, fire anyone. I don't like picking. Uh, who should I fire? Um, you got to fire, uh, fire Joe Biden. Fire Joe Biden? Fire Joe Biden, I hate him. Okay. We're gonna fire uh, the President of the United States, Joe Biden. I have his number one, guys. You guys are homies? Hey, um, hey man. Hey, what's what's up, man? Hey, Joe. Hey, how's it going, how's it going man? Oh, what's up? What's, hey, hey, look at that. It's really what's awesome. going on with this guy? What? Grayson, my God, look at this guy. Look at what guy? Oh my God, Mr. Grayson, it's you and me. Remember when not, we used? I'm not with you in the room. Oh my though. God, it's so crazy in here right now. Every all the walls are closer. All the walls are closer. Oh my God, man, look at you. Look at those big arms. I'm you got those the, big arms. I'm not in the room with you, Joe. I'm on the. I'm, we're on the phone right now. Look at how big those arms got. You're you're a, you're a cannon. Joe, are you talking to someone else in the room right now? I miss you so much. Hey, Joe. Uh, I'm sorry to do this, but we're gonna have to fire you. What's up? We're gonna have to fire you from being the president. The ice cream? I don't do the ice cream store anymore? You can still do the ice cream store, honestly. It's just I love like, this. Stuff. Everyone comes into this big circle room and, I, and I'm and i talking to them about their time and this. That's my job. Sorry. Sorry, Joe. I just farted. Oh, hey, man. That's what life's about. Sometimes, hey, hey, listen, brother. Sometimes you're... Man. Sometimes what? I hear ya. Yeah, so you don't, you're not the president anymore. What? I'm what? You're not. The president. I'm what? You're not the president anymore. Okay. You're not the fucking president anymore, bitch. Is that what I am? Whoa, Whoa. come around. Right. Sorry. Is that what I am now? Good God. That's dangerous. No, you're not the president. Man, that's wild stuff, dude. I think you're thinking I'm telling you that you're the president, which is kind of stressing you out, but you're not the president. That's, that's so crazy. Are you going to be there with me? You're not. Can I hold you? You can hold me, Joe. Oh, man. Look at that. I'm wrapping around you. It's like wrapping around an oak tree. You're so big. You're so strong, guy. Who are you holding right now? All right. Okay. I'm, I'm driving right now. I got to oh, go. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Joe. That went really well, I think. I think you did a great job firing the president of the United States. Yeah. Did you take one of my rocks? Mm. Um. <laughs> yes. Can I have it back? Yes, you may. Yes. Hey, that yeah, is. Why did you, a, take, why that's did you a, take that? That's a sharp eye you got there, Grayson. And I know you'll. I know you'll return the favor when I ask for uh, one week off at the beginning of my job to go to my brother's funeral. Um, we gotta call another reference. Sorry, I was very put off by the fact that uh, he stole one of my rocks. It's not a good way to uh, you know, gain trust. Listen, I I misread the situation. I thought they were for playing and keeping. Uh, let's call another reference here. Uh, you can call my uh, call my sister. Your sister? Yep. What's your sister's name? What's this guy's name? This guy Rick? I'm Rick, Rick. Kaczynski. Oh, Kaczynski. <laughs> ah. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Yep, got it. If only we had that earlier. Yep. You can call me, call my sister Leanne. Leanne. <coughs> Leanne Kaczynski. Okay. And your brother's Ted. My brother, yeah, how did you know my brother was Ted? You said that. I didn't, I must have said that, I must have said it. This is the Unabomber's sister, how can I help you? Huh? This is the Unabomber's sister, how can I help you? What? You asked, come on, are you keeping up here? What is, what is she saying? She said, uh... Is the Unabomber's sister? I'm not familiar with what the Unabomber is. 
I have no idea what that means. My brother was a good guy. Didn't talk to him for a long time. Right. You want me to talk to her? Really good. Let me, uh, let me put her on. Is that, are, what's up? Why are you calling me? Is this a journalist? Are they doing a story? Hey, Everyone sis. Calls me now. It's Rick. Oh, Rick. Rick. How you doing? <sighs> hey, Rick. Hey, sis. How you been? Uh, grieving my brother's death? Yeah. How are you? I'm doing it a little bit. Not, not as much as you, I would imagine. Okay, why is that? Uh, I've kind of been trying to keep this from you. Keep what from me? Something about my brother? Ted is, uh, Ted was a troubled soul. Well, ob okay, obviously he's a little bit of a troubled soul, but he's still a good guy deep down. Well, that's tough to talk about. How much time do you have? Do you know about MK Ultra? I have like, we have what, a couple hours, right, to do this? No, no. Uh, Leanne, did, did Rick, <laughs> did Rick just find out? That his brother died? Rick, Rick's a very sweet boy, and we've tried to kind of keep this from him. And I do a hell of a Selma Hayek, I have to say. Rick, you're Has he done his Selma Hayek? He has a killer Selma Hayek. Can you do it again? Yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah. What? Um... <laughs> hey, everyone, let's go get some soup. See? Like she's in the room. Right. Let's go get soup and, uh, and fuck. Rick, from Frida. Uh, Rick, I... <laughs> Rick, I think your uh, your brother has uh, been dead for a while, for some time, for a while. It's actually been like three days. It's been more like three. I was going to say I was under the impression it was like three days. Yeah. And he was a good guy. Oh, <laughs> Rick. Um, what you're about to tell me? Maybe like I should stop listening to R. Kelly too. Oh, Rick. No. I can't listen to R. Kelly now. Don't do that. Why? Rick, how familiar are you with Destiny's Child? Hearing him now for the first time. Oh actually. gosh, there's so much. To, we kept him so isolated because he was such a pure soul. We didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. He only knew about R. Kelly and Selma Hayek. Those were the only two celebrities we exposed him to. Hold on, I gotta check my OnlyFans. My Casey Anthony OnlyFans just expired. Wait a minute. When did you find out about her? We tried to keep her from you. Having fun online without you. Okay, uh, thank you, Leanne. Bye-bye. I love you. I'll see you at the funeral, babe. Leanne, didn't, don't I call my sister babe. That was, <laughs> that was a little weird. Yikes. I admit that was weird. Yikes. There's a lot of weird th things We're about right, this. Uh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> but it's a yes. Who yes. said yes. yes? Yes. I got the You're job. the new Selma Hayek impersonator. Congratulations. <laughs> this interview could not have <laughs> this interview could not have gotten better, in my opinion. <laughs> and it was way too short, if you ask me. Right. I could be here for hours with you. Yeah, well, I'll see you uh, in a week after the funeral. After my brother's funeral. Right. Who and was a good guy. And you're going to learn more about him. I'm gonna, Apparently, I'm going to learn a lot about him. Apparently, not everyone liked him as much as I did. Yeah, I think most people uh, most people would say they didn't like him. Well, if I if that ain't a Rick, Rick Kaczynski special where I'm seeing the good in everyone, you know? Yeah. If that ain't a Rick Kaczynski punch in the nose, right. you know? Right. Well, uh, thank you. Thanks, All right, well, I'm going to get out of here. Rick, do Selma Hayek and Puss in Boots the last wish. Our, who? I don't know who said that, but you got it, buddy. You got it. May I? Of course. Jesus Christ, it smells like my dad's foot in here. That's exactly it. Thank you. The Casey Anthony OnlyFans is incredible, by the now way. Now do it from Wild Wild West. Yeah, yeah I was going to ask that one next. That's good. We got a lot of big stuff happening over here. Is that when the big spider shows up? That's when the big spider shows up, Mr. Wyatt. Perfect. And that's Sel that's Selma. That's, that's Selma not... Hayek, yeah. Okay. Come, you want to do a couple more? <laughs> just real quick. Yeah, let's do more from, let's do more from Wild Wild West. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or more, just yeah, double, yeah, down yeah. Wild yeah. Wild double down on Wild Wild West. Double down on Wild Wild West? Okay. <laughs> the scene where she fucks Will Smith. Yeah. We're about to get a big gator situation happening over here, Mr. White, bitch. All right, now do her character <laughs> intro. Character intro. So I'm, imagine like a big sweeping crane coming down. Big sweeping crane. Da da da. Wah wah wah. I'd rather put that that song. Yeah, they put that song in Wild Wild West. Jesus Christ! It smells like my pussy ain't had a little bit of a dick in ages, boy. Perfect. A excellent impression. Thank you so much. I wish my brother was alive to hear these. By the way. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's about... My brother Ted Kaczynski. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right. 
Any, were there any more uh, impression requests? Yeah, can you do your lines from Get Bruce, the movie about Bruce Valanche that you were in? You, I, I really wish you would ask that sooner. That's one of my favorites. Here we go. Oh no, everyone's already ate my favorite kind of bagel. Guess I'm going home early. All right, that's it for me. I'm all done. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> so close. The fastest one. Of course. You can call. You can call. Uh, did I list the BTK killer on there as a reference? <laughs> the what? The BTK killer, the bind torture kill killer. Yeah, you did. Okay, call him. Okay. Dennis what Raider, I think his name was. Fifty-one months. Oh, I think this. Dennis uh, Raider, right? Let us know you want us to fire or what a. Dennis. Dennis Raider, yeah. This is Dennis? Uh, this is Dennis Raider. Hey, Dennis. What's up? Um, uh, we already hired, uh, your friend, uh, Rick Kaczynski. Oh, my close friend, Rick? Yeah. Yeah, me and him are into a lot of the same things. Yeah, like what? Uh, gotta he's go. Like, whenever he says he's lying. Oh, he hung up. I shouldn't have told you to call him. He's such a lying prick, by the way. Uh, I think he died in 2005 also. Okay. Well, thank you, Rick. Uh, thank you. One for the road? Yeah, you got it. What do you want to hear? Uh, give me another Wild Wild West <laughs> one. <laughs> These alligators sure are making me look hungry, Mr. White. Thank you. See you, uh, see you in a week or so. Thank you so much. And I might need longer. Okay. I might need longer for that. Anytime you need me, you just call me in. Okay. Well, you'll be working here regularly. Okay. Well, we are two people. Um, so that's that's great. That's amazing. Um, really, uh, really, really, really great stuff. Um, and we felt good about that. We felt good about Rick. I feel like that impression was good. I feel like I'm going a little crazy with the. Uh, it was like a completely. It's like the bad guy from who plays the bad guy from Wild West. It's like it's like the guy in the in the chair, the steam, the steampunk <laughs> wheelchair guy. Yeah, Kevin Klein. Sounded more like Kevin Klein. Anyway, um, Kevin let's Klein keep this. Was the other good guy. Oh. Kevin Klein was the assistant for Mr. West. The bad guy. That's Jackie Chan. No. What? You think it wasn't around the world in eight days, idiots? Internet crow, thank you for the gift and sub. Um, oh, oh <laughs> what a disaster. Uh, we're going to fire Hulk Hogan real quick. Oh, and we got more subs coming in. Thank you. The potato sloth. Let us know who we're firing. We'll do a little fire streak real quick. Uh, Kenneth Branagh. Yeah. Kenneth Branagh. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're, we got Hulk Hogan coming on the line. What does it sound like? Can't wait to hear what Hulk sounds like these days. Yeah. Hey there, brother. Oh, hey, How's bro. it going? Hey, brother. How's it going? I got about five lines before this immediately breaks. So <laughs> it's let's already get it breaking. Going. It's already breaking right now. It seems like. Uh, I don't know what you mean, brother? <laughs> Let me know when you need to trade out. <laughs> That's good, yeah, brother. Yeah, we're working in shit. Yeah, you want to put a throat lozenge in? You want to take a throat lozenge real quick? Hulk? No, no, I'm good, brother. We're I'm part of the mech right now, Hulk Hogan's. <laughs> Part of a mech, okay. Hey, brother, it's me, the other Hulk Hogan. I'm part of this mech as well, brother. Okay, well, if it's a mech, I'm the third Hulk Hogan, and I'm the foot, brother. You bet your sweet ass, I'm the dick of the Hulk Hogan's, brother. I'm right here. I'm the right bicep, brother, of the Hulk Hogan's up here, brother. You should be where the mouth is, brother. You got the best one by far, brother. <laughs> Together, we're the the Hulk Hogan mech. The right bicep, the dick, the foot, <laughs> the rest. <laughs> And I'm the mouth. All What's right. up? All right, Hulk. I'm the clavicle. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I'm the left eyebrow. <laughs> I'm the weird toe. I'm the left arm, but I got kicked out earlier. <laughs> I'm the piercing that was on the left eyebrow. I did. I got me. We got me on when I when we were in college and figuring things out. That's why he's a southern gentleman and not Hulk Hogan, because he's a piercing, not us. That's good. That's right. That's correct. All right, we got two more people to fire, and then we should probably go to the B game. Two more people. They seem like they got enough going on. They don't seem like they're doing any sort of work at all, so uh, I don't think we need to fire them. Uh, we got to fire Grog. 
What? Yeah. I love that. Uh, really? He was so fucking cool. I liked Grog. He was really, really excited about starting this, the turn of this new page. <sighs> Hello, me, Grog. Hey, Grog. Uh, it's Mr. Grayson from the Everything Now Corporation. Oh, Mr. Grayson. Hello. Why you call Grog? Grog, so, uh, you know, it, it turns out that- Shh, Quiet down, kids. Grog talking to new boss. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Grayson. Grog was just telling family about new job. Family and children very excited for Grog have new job. Oh. Grog depression finally going away. Oh, Grog. Anyway, what you say? How many, how many kids do you have, Grog? Grog have 11 children. Greg, Grieg, Ooh, you name wait, you name one of your kids Doug, as, after Greg? Oh, Whoa! Oh, holy holy fuck. shit! What happened? Souls Tuna, thank you for the twenty subs. Damn! Let us know who you want us to uh, to fire. You only get one. Sorry. Um, hey Grog, did we look further into that? Uh, you know that murder case? When me kill Oog? Yeah, when you killed Oog with me that. Me tell gun. you that just technicality. Right, but. It's still, you know, technically a, a felony, and it's a pretty hefty one at that, and uh, we're going to have to rescind your offer for the position. What? We got to do a couple more fires here. All right. Grog, tell family. I'm sorry, Grog. I, I really... I Grog, really sorry, to... too. Grog, sorry, too. No. I got... Now you got to fire the doorman. The doorman? Uh, let me get it more specific here. The door guy. Oh, okay. Shanzam! Welcome, Raiders. You are here with the Everything Now Show. We are hiring and firing, and we're currently about to fire... Door guy? Oh, sorry, oh, yes. The door, hey, door, the door's a fucking sitting duck right now, so what do you need? What do you want? I'm sorry, door guy. Um, uh-huh. But we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to let you go. Oh! Okay, it, it's, it's you know, I didn't want to tell anybody because nobody seemed to care, but it's been an automatic door for like 20 years. Oh. I just kind of stand there. You've we been pretending to open going. it? Yeah, gotta okay. go. All right, thank you, door guy. You gotta fire yourself. You gotta fire yourself. God the 20 sub guy did it. Right. Gotta respect it. Damn. Gotta respect it. Um, mm. Thank you. What was his name? Or their name? So, let me get it. Sol Tuna. Sol Tuna. Sol Tuna, thank you for the 20 subs. We'll Sol do it. Sol Tuna. Solstuna. Yeah, there's a, there's another S in there. Solstuna, thank you for the 20 subs. Um, we gotta do it. Gotta do it to him. Hey, me. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, you're fired. I'm taking my rocks. I'm taking my rocks. All right, how quickly can we fire me and bring Mr. Grayson back in here? That's going to be the question. Until we do, and I would love to get fired as soon as possible, only one sub to fire me and bring Mr. Grayson back in there, invalidating the person who spent a full 20 subs <laughs> on his... Just just spitting in the face of is. his generosity. We got it. Well, we have to see who they're firing. Ah, yep, yeah, it's you. Yeah, all right, perfect. <laughs> hey, I'm fired. Mr. Grayson's coming back in. But he'll be back after we create an employee. Uh, yeah.
Greetings. Welcome to the Everything Now Labs, where we will be creating the ideal employee. Right now, not, not cutting it for sure. But with your help, we're going to turn this person into the ideal employee. Someone who can do any job perfectly. We're going to break down piece by piece what is required to make them the perfect candidate. We will be starting with the hair. Let us know what hair should our perfect employee have. Pink, long, or dumb hat. You have selected dumb hat. Integrating, 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 integrating. Perfect. Dumb hat selected. Look at that dumb hat. Great work. Now, what kind of shirt should our ideal employee have? The options will appear on the screen shortly, after which time, vote to select what shirt our ideal employee should have. Milk, Hawaiian, or furry vest. Dead heat here. You have selected milk. Milk will now be applied to our ideal employee. Integrating, 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 integrating. Milk has been added to our ideal employee. Now, we shall be selecting what kind of personality our ideal employee should have. The options will soon appear on the screen, after which time you will vote for your favorite. Please vote for the following personalities. British personality, TikTok influencer personality, or nerd personality. TikTok influencer selected. Integrating, integrating, integrating. We need to recalibrate that one. He's perfect. My It appears that I have been fired. Yes, um, yeah, hi. Um, I'm Mr. Grayson, I'm on the other side of the safety glass. Uh, we're just gonna kind of evaluate why you why you were fired. You instantly failed your test. Um, Baby Gronk rizzed up Livy. <laughs> During a trip to LSU, Baby Gronk rizzed up Livy, and now he's being called the Riz King. Hey, let's let's uh can you explain can you explain this 
Baby Diggs just challenged Baby Gronk to 1v1. Can you explain this? <laughs> taco challenge. <laughs> taco challenge. I won the taco challenge. Baby Diggs and Baby Livy just had one riz. <laughs> Baby Livy just had one riz. Taco challenge. I won taco challenge. Baby Livy and LSU. New Riz King? 1v1. Baby Diggs. There's a party in my city. All right, great. Uh, you're going to be the taco dryer from now on. You're just going to have a hair dryer, and you're just going to have to dry out all the tacos that everybody licks now. Baby tacos rizzed up Livy. Livy is a baby gronk. Thank baby you. Baby gronk rizzed up Livy, and Livy is a baby gronk and taco. Thank you. Taco challenge. I won the taco challenge. Baby digs? Th thank you. Using baby grog for clout. No, next. Aha, uh -huh, mahalo. Hi, welcome. Hey, how's it going? What's going on here? Pretty good. Uh, we're Didn't just... ask? What's going on here, though? Oh, um, we're just going to evaluate your uh, applicant profile. Great. Uh, and just see uh, kind of why you were terminated from your last position before assigning you a I'm new fired? position. fired? I just got fired? Yes, you this were This is actually seriously happening? This is the unemployment office. Where the hell did I think I was? Jail? Don't know. And what happened here? Oh, so uh, my cat got my gun. Mm. Wants to shoot himself in the head, not letting that happen anymore. Right. Is that why I'm being fired? Because my cat tried to shoot himself in the head with a gun? Is this another TikTok influencer? Bob? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this is another TikTok influencer. No, um, I just talk like this, like a guy. Right. Well, this happened uh, at a place at your place of business that you worked at before. My um, cat came to my place of business. Is this a question? I don't even know. You worked as a host at, as a host at Red Lobster, and it seems like your your cat got in and, and had a gun, and and that's somehow my fault. Okay, let's just get this guy another fucking job. I can't I can't manage him mm -hmm. when I'm at work. Right. Right. Uh, you're gonna clean the toilets. Get Next. It's cold. Hey, <laughs> right, can you uh, state your name and the, the your your uh, place of occupation before you? My fight? name is uh, Martin, and uh, I'm a Sherpa. You're a Sherpa. Sometime. Yeah. Okay. Burr. Uh, anything you want to say before we bring up the uh, the evidence of your uh, termination? You know, it's cold up there. That's all I'll say. Okay. And. Oh, buddy. Can you explain? Oh. You, when you're up there, it gets really cold, and, uh, well, let's just say there's no bathrooms, but there's a lot of people. Mm. And, uh, you know, you put your little helmet on, you go, uh, oh, buddy, it's cold, and you, you just, you just shit an icicle. You shot a whole icicle and at work? It, 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 it was a lot of blood. Oh. And it attracted some not great people. It attracted some not great people, like, mm -hmm. uh... Just, like, the kind of people that like blood, you oh, know? Like and vampires? You know, like, like, like the kind of people that, like, just, like, fucking thrive on mountain blood. Like, you know, anybody that likes blood. Okay, great. Um, yeah, you'd be great as our, as our new HR coordinator. I'm good with people. Alright, thanks. Next. Hello there, missus. What's up? Hey, can you say your name and your last place of occupation? Name's Lionel. I was a little hoodlum. You're a little hoodlum? I was a little... I was a little small town hoodlum. Me and my mates would get into into business. Oh, yeah? Is that a knife? You have a knife right there? Yeah. Be careful with that thing. Alright, well, let's, uh... Anything you want to say before we, uh... No, let's do this, you proper cunt. I can say that. It's not as big a deal. Okay, when all I right. I say it, it's not, doesn't have the weight it has for you. What's going on here? All right, we were memeing 9-11. Okay. We were, we were watching the towers go down. I thought, this is a great moment for a funny little meme. My mates were disgusted. They said, this is a tragedy, man. This is the fall of the West, mate. And I said, what if I'm holding the plane and I'm, like, pushing it into the building? 
they were not so happy with me. They, they proper kicked me out of the crew. Wow, well, now, now you're here. Right. So where am I, where, where, where am I going next? <laughs> um, you're, you're gonna be the president. Of where? President of the company. Oh, yeah. right. Awesome. Congrats. Next. All right, please state your uh, name and last place of occupation. Uh, hi, I'm Adolf, and I worked in the mail room. Gotcha. Um, Adolf, you say? Yeah. Right on. Is that a, is that a problem? No, just, uh, just okay. don't see very many people name that anymore. Okay. Well, um, that's my name, so. Can you explain, uh... Your reason for termination here? Yeah, I actually wanted to bring this up. Uh, you know, I think we all are entitled to our proclivities. And to be honest, I think it's kind of fucked up that you guys would let me go during this month. <laughs> so, maybe, maybe I should be asking the questions here. Like, do you guys want to make this a whole thing? Do you guys want to make this like a whole big issue? Because because we can make it a big issue, but for you, me, it seems like it's not, shouldn't be that big of a deal. You just can't, you can't bring in like your own mailboxes into the mailroom. You can't just like, you know, it was a, it's kind of a very off-putting uh, sculpture to Well, to I don't put see in. really what it matters what I do in the mailroom as long as the mail gets delivered, right? If I want to have an interesting art piece that I use for my mail, I don't think I don't think that should be a big problem for anybody, especially during this month. Right. So that's just kind of my opinion. Okay. Uh, well, luckily we're gonna uh, reposition you um, into a different job. Okay. Is uh, it gonna be one that pays more? Uh, uh, we're we're calculating right now. Great. Beep boop. Beep beep boop beep. Beep boop. Uh, you're going to be a barber. Barber? Everything now, barber, yeah. Great. Thank you. Next. What's up? Oh, hey. Hey there. Buddy. Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh... They did take this away from me, but I, I snuck a new one in. I bought this one. Okay, maybe just put that down. Put the... Quit pointing that at me. All right. Uh, can you say your name and your past occupation? Officer McGinty, police officer of the law. Okay. Uh, great. And, uh, yeah, can you, uh, explain this? I shot this guy. Oh. I shot, oh. I shot this guy and made him dead. All right. In my defense, I thought he was a dog. I mean, he, he's got a dog in him, it looks like. He's set in, that was my mistake, is he's got that dog in him. Yeah. And I thought, it's my job to shoot that dog that's in him. Right. Well, um, you can just keep being a police officer. All right, cool. Yep. You can just keep doing your thing. All right, can I have a second gun? Yep. Awesome. Good job. Well, thank you to everyone who participated in the sub goal, and thank you to, um, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry, the 20 gift sub man, thank you so much. Salstuna. Salstuna, thank you, we appreciate you. 
Uh, we're back for more hiring and firing. If you're just joining us, I'm Mr. Grayson, head of hiring and firing here at the Everything Now Corporation. Um, I hope you're all happy with that uh, replacement of all of those uh, people who had been fire, fired who we found new jobs for. Salstuna, appreciate you. Oh, thanks, Salstuna. And uh, let's get uh, let's get this going. What's our next? Who are we hiring next? What's the position? Oh, we got a gifted sub from. Oh, just. Oh, inter internet crow. Thank you. So Stuna wasn't even subscribed. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for the gift, internet crow. Let us know. You wanna? Oh, oh and again. just a tiny taste. Let's do it after this one. Yeah, we'll do it after this interview, but um. Uh, just let let us know, and we'll take note of it. All right, we got preschool teacher, high five giver, toilet paper roller, hug consultant. Uh, ooh, I like this. Uh, we already took a suggestion from Internet Crow. The new ENS cast member is just so good. Uh, Twitch moderator. Let's do Twitch moderator. That's good. Thank you, Hoomstintive, for your suggestion. All right. Send, send them in. Come on in. Hello. How are you? Hi, how's it going? Uh, welcome. Really good. <laughs> really good. Just, Great. Just really good. Hi, I'm Mr. Grayson. My oh. name is Pisspot. Pisspot. <laughs> oh, yep. You got a you got a grip on you. Pisspot. Uh -huh. Well, they don't call me Pisspot for nothing. Pisspot. Uh, well, welcome to the interview. Uh, happy to have you. See, so you brought your uh, your axe. Yeah, I like to I like to do song parodies. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. I like to, I like to take existing songs and make them positive. Oh. Like really nice. Really like happy. You could uh, like like, <laughs> like just like whatever the song is, the opposite. Got it. Okay. Thank you, I fight for them. Ten dollars. Uh, I'm just giving you out money. We'll do a snack time. Why not? Free money. Um. Well, piss pot. Yeah. Um. That's you're it. interviewing to be our next uh, Twitch moderator. Keep the Twitch chat intact. And I, I so I chat. said positive. Right. I. There we go. That's good. We like our our community to be positive. <laughs> yeah. For sure. So that's me. Um. Yeah. That's a good place to start. So if you're thinking of words uh -huh. that you would say would best represent like a, a tr an ideal chat. Yeah. Positive. What are some other words that you would say? Just like friend or like... Uh, friend. Friend. Big one's donation. Oh, okay. Love that word. Uh, money. Money. Okay. Uh, a real nice one is, you're welcome. Like after, like after someone, yeah, you say, you're welcome. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is so. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take care. And this is to describe the big shot. Oh. Shit, I almost fell. Okay. <laughs> this chair is fat phobic. Uh, Mr. Grayson, you got to fire Matt Berry from Doctor Who. Okay. Am I doing that right now? Yeah, when you when you get a chance. Excuse me, piss pot. From Doctor Who. This cable is just... Hello, hello. This is Matthew Berry. It's me, Matt Berry, isn't it? Otherwise known as Doctor Who. Hey, Matt Berry. Hey, how's it going there? Wait. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. I'm actually, I think, maybe a New Zealander. You're a New Zealander. I'm probably I'm now from. You're English. Never mind. But well, you are English. Doctor Who. I might be Doctor Who. No, he's <laughs> not. He's not Doctor Who. I don't know. Listen. Doctor Who. Just listen. Listen. They recast me, and now I'm Doctor Who. So what is it in it, Governor? Um. So he is Doctor Who? That's great casting. You know? he, got, he got recasted? I'm British now. Oh, okay. 
Can you hurry up? Whatever you are, whoever you are, um, I'm firing you. Ah, shit, fuck. Yeah. That's a load of bullcocks. Yeah, bullcocks? That's a load of bullcocks in it. I'm gonna get in me car and grab a knobby out of my boot, and I'll see you after I get off the lift. Okay. Two bits. Two bits? That's the guy from IT crowd. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Right. My mom loves that show. It was like he was only in it after season two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, he's fired now. <laughs> um, was there anyone else we need to fire? Not yet. Okay. We'll let you know. Cool. Not yet. All right, piss pot. Yeah. Going back to the Twitch chat. Um, Tell me about it. So I guess it would be good. I mean, you have the guitar here. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is a good way to show how you can really convert something to being positive. Give me a song. Okay, any song? Any song that I know. Any song you know. Name any song that I know verbatim and have, have probably already planned. Okay. Yeah. Um, any song. Like, Bruce Springsteen, Thunder Road. Yes. Uh, can you give me uh, the first minute and a half of it to uh, so that I can know what it is? I know it's like the, the it's um, harmonica solo and then screen door slams. Mary is dressed for me. Like a vision, she dances across the porch yeah. as the radio plays. Keep going, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 this is great to be born alone. Yeah. And yeah. it's me and I want you to lonely. Don't turn me on again. I just can't face myself alone again. Yeah. Well, run back inside, darling, you know just what I'm here for. <laughs> Well, you're scared and you're thinking that maybe we ain't that young anymore. With no little faith, there's magic in the night. You ain't a beauty, but hey, you're alright. Boy, and it's alright with me. It's faster than I thought. It sounded great, fellas. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, anytime this spot, you got it, boss. Can you. One more time, give me the opening sure. thing. Screen door slams. Mary's just swing. Yeah. Like a vision, she dances across the porch as the radio plays. So if you take that one line, like, like a, like a not vision, she doesn't dance. <laughs> I'm going to make it nicer. Yeah, it's just the opposite. Sometimes oh. it's. Not. <laughs> And what what was the next part? <laughs> maybe we try a different song. Maybe we, maybe we try a different song. I said any song. Maybe it's me and I want you. Maybe we try a different song. So and she and she's uh, she's far away from me and I want uh, us together. That's opposite, right? Let's do piano man. Piano man. Uh. You Let's, want us to sing through that? Just the chorus. Can you give me? And sing us a song. song you're a piano, piano man. Okay. Sing us uh, a song tonight. Uh, I got, I got a dance us a uh, musical. Uh, is a musical really the opposite of a song? <laughs> There's a lot of. That sounds like a slant. It's uh, if you, it, I, sure. And, <laughs> and it's hard knowing a lot of songs. And you then, said you could. It's a lot. Do the opposite. Do the opposite. This part. Uh, sit, don't do us a dance. You. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, you, what's the opposite of piano? What's the opposite of piano? You guitar, bitch. Uh, They're both string instruments. Pull us a string. I don't, uh, Ed, sing us not a song. Um, now tell me you don't want that in the chat. Jane else has a suggestion. Maybe, uh, Blue by Eiffel 65. Uh, what's that one? I'm blue. No, I got this one. I, I actually, I actually really know this one. Ready? Little, little... All right, hold on. Yeah, do the opening. Right. Um, I'm white. No, 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 no. Whoa. Or uh, uh, I'm green. Uh, uh, words are coming in here. Blue. Or like I'm red. Well, no, because if I'm happy. You can't just do the opposite of. Uh, you can't just not. You said sometimes I just do the opposite. I said most times. <laughs> And what's the opposite of blue? Not blue. The absence of color, which is white. That's Jesus, all the fuck. colors. The absence of color is I black. don't come in here and tell you to do your job. You can't 
getting to do your job. Oh what my God! The, why am I being heckled during an interview? What about the? What about the? What about the? We a guitar. We all gather around. The I didn't think this would be a performance. Give me a song I know. Give me a song I know. Toxic, Robin. toxic by British. Okay, Spears. okay, okay. I do know that one. Uh, with with the uh, not taste. Of your nose, I'm. Uh, what's it's qualified, right? Not qualified. You're healthy for me. I like it. <laughs> this guitar does that not rest great. comfortably. It was nicer. It was yeah. the initial. Thing See, it happens sometimes. Yeah. I guess if the song is negative, yeah. it makes it a lot. Like negative. I do a lot of punk songs, and those are really mean. And so you know, you can, you can. Yeah. Sexy thing by Hot Chocolate. Uh, I don't know that one, but let's guess. I believe in miracles. I, I, okay, I got the opening line. I don't believe in God. Uh, uh, and it's, uh, wet vanilla. That's the opposite of hot chocolate. The opposite of hot is wet? Hot is what? What was the song? I got it right the first time. Do you have I any questions for me? Do you have, like, no, I, my glasses are so let's foggy. Take a, let's take a bre break from this for a second. Did you even know I had headphones on? Did you even know? I did not. You they they really hide under there. Wow, wow. Baby. Grace, did you just fart, dude? I just fart. It's kind of it's it's really hard to hear right the, it's kind of hard to hear the farts. And I not farted. I peed. Huh, that's a little toilet humor. Uh, yeah, I just farted. Sorry. I can't. I can't do this. Um, so back to Twitch moderating. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm here. What would you? Oh, let's call a reference. Um, while we get. Yeah. So you have a list of references here. Is there I anybody do. On here that you. Can you call the second one? The first. I don't like the first one. Okay. He's he's <laughs> a little known celebrity. Little known. Poop hot. Uh, you, that's what we call him for friends. But you can you can call him what you want to call him. He's he's kind of yeah. You'll see. Okay, we're gonna call Poop Pot. So Poop Pot, what's your name? Hey, it's it's your boy Poop Pot. Oh, I heard that's classic Poop Pot. Hey Poop Pot, I heard you're a bit of a celebrity. Is that you? <laughs> to me, is this am I just? We're just so we're all on the same page. Yeah. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're Poop Pot. Okay. Do you know who are you are? asking if I know who you are? I just have to look at my phone really quick for no reason. The famous Poop Pot. Uh -huh. like, we're both in the Pot family. I'm Piss Pot. He's Poop Pot. Ah, okay. Yeah, right, right, right. right. No, yeah, I'm yeah. good. You got enough I make songs worse. I make them meaner. Yeah. That's my thing. You give him any song, he, he makes like 90% of them hate crimes. Yeah, oh, that's wow. my thing. Okay. Well, I'm uh, I'm probably like open for Andrew Dice Clay yeah, in 2023. Yeah, yeah. bitch. That's yeah. Andrew Dice Clay. All right. Um, I'm currently uh, interviewing uh, Piss Pot for a job via Twitch moderator. Uh, oh, okay. Just wanted to call you to get some uh, relevant experience. Or well, yeah, any... he stops me from saying a lot of things that I'm apparently not supposed to say in, in public. So That's I would good. say he's pretty good at that. And how does he stop you? Like how he'll does... break out into song. Like oh. if I'm about to do something, he'll he'll run to the audience and he'll go, "Give me a song, give me a song." I don't know that song. Why am I sing the entire song for me? Then they sing the entire <laughs> song, and then he'll go, "Okay, okay, okay. I think I got this." And he'll do like one line. He'll do like one line where he kind of says the opposite of the song, but not really. And then he gets right. really mad and starts screaming at everybody. This and at that point, it's been like six minutes. I'm out of there. I'm gone. Let me guess. He's telling you my artist secret. You're he's telling you the trick to my dream. Right. Which is, yeah. Which is just that you kind of don't know any songs. I did three. Right. Sorry. Um... Great. Is there any like other ways he kind of like moderates you, so to speak, in, in real life? Uh, that's that's I would say um, that would say I would say that's most of it. Can you ask him to do a song for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm uh, putting on speaker real quick. Can What's you, up? Can you, do, hot. can you do Hotline Bling for me? Uh, yeah. Uh, you want the parody, right? You want the you want yeah, the I don't want you, you don't want that yeah. You don't want Drake up in no, here. No, Drake does it. I'm Billy Bobby Brown. Uh, what well, you want? Uh, you just fart. You just fart right now, man. While you're on the phone with me. What the fuck? 
like, I might be poop hot, but I don't appreciate that I'm shit. Sorry, I... That was a nasty lick. I'm so sorry. That was uh, disgusting. Nasty Those lick. banana chips are just hitting the bottom of my empty stomach, and it's just uh, pushing everything out. I, uh, I might be poop hot, but I'm not some fecological comedian jokester. Poop, poop okay? hot's a metaphor for uh, his hard life. Got it. Yeah. He's... Do either of you go by PP at all? What the fuck? What? What like the illiter- fuck are you illiter- talking what, about? What do you you go around calling people poop? Come on, you dude. what? You don't have a real name? What's a fake name? Hey, What's a fake hey, name? Hey, let's not let this guy ruin our vibe. Sing Hot, Hotline we Bling gotta, Rock. We gotta man. hang together, man. This guy's bumming me up. Anytime, dude. But sing Hotline Bling Rock. Okay, man. Hotline now. Bling. Uh, I don't know when that cold circle. Uh, not bling. Uh, I can't hear anything. Uh, what's the next word? I forgot it. Oh, that was perfect. Uh, Trump did an impression. I know that one. That was perfect. That was all I needed. Now, can you do Creep by Radiohead? Uh, yeah. I'm a nice guy. I have no weird qualities. I know what I'm doing here. Boy, do I belong here. See, that was positive. That was, that was great. Good. I love that one because You're it works out with his original You're telling me you want that in your shit. Twitch chat? You don't want that in your Twitch? I feel like my voice has changed. All right, I'm going to head out of here. Good talking to you. See you later, Poop Pot. Pot. Suck talking to you, Fart Man. You know why he's called Poop Pot, right? Mr. Grace. Uh, what? We have a thing in our family where if it's not in a pot, we just miss entirely. If it's not in a pot? If it's not in a pot, we miss entirely. You miss? We miss entirely. They miss. We miss entirely. Bring they him on the phone the if you got your clarification. You have his fucking number. If it's not in the pot, they miss. They we miss! miss the pot. Jesus Christ! Keep up! If I pee in a toilet, it is everywhere! But if there's a pot, it's in a central location! Can you do Boulevard of Broken Dreams? <laughs> I I run down a, a busy street. Uh, that's, a later that's, that's in the song, I'm pretty sure. I got it right, though. There we go. That was good. That's I'm, it? I'm content with that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most interactive job interview I've ever been a part of. And you've, you've just done nothing but hurt me. Man. What about, uh, what about uh, Party in the USA? Uh, I put my legs down. I do a little jig. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, what's opposite of party? It's a bummer in, uh, Poland. Uh, I think the, the opposite, if you don't go to the U.S., you go to Poland. And the caterpillars don't fly yet. That's that's in the song, remember? Butterflies fly away. Well, caterpillars right, are the right, opposite of butterflies. Right. I'm kind of losing any sense of the, the song, the original song, when you sing it. I think that's a good parody. Well, it looks like you're hired. They loved what they, they heard, and uh, you're going to be the next uh, Twitch chat moderator. So congratulations, Piss Pot. Thank you for coming Can you in. close with Bad Day? Mm. Yeah, I got it. Hold on, I got it. It's a layup. Yeah, it's I a layup. I found the easiest one. It's a drop D. So you had a good time. You don't do a song. You, you, sing, you don't sing well. Just uh, I stay at the place. Uh, the opposite of day is time? What? The opposite of day is time to you? Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's like an hour isn't a day. Good night is right an hour there. Isn't time. I, I, what, you want me to be a hack? Go with the first option every time? Yes! No, I gotta be subversive! That's why it's a parody! Fuck! But you do the opposite of the real song. There's a lot of rules! There's a lot of rules! I follow all of them! So you had a good, you had a good uh, day? You <laughs> said
Welcome to the Everything Now Laboratories. We are here to design another employee. Please select from the following options to design said employee. What hair should our employee have? Option 1. Gray. Option 2. Dumb hat. Option 3. Curly. Please make decision now. What hair? You have chosen selection 2. Dumb hat. Applying. Applying. Downloading. Uploading. Unzipping. Rezipping. Loading. Success. We have loaded dumb hat. Dumb hat. Next up, we will decide the kind of shirt. I want to reiterate that these are all the essential parts of an employee. The hair, the shirt, the personality. Loading options for shirt. Loading. Please select from the following options. 1. Prison jumpsuit. 2. Red. 3. Muscle suit. These are all different types of shirts. Please make your decision now. Closing, closing. You have selected muscle suit. Downloading muscle suit. Downloading. Downloading. Uploading. Zipping. Unzipping. Rewiring. Backfiring. Uplifting. Upripping. Getting ripped. Success. Success. We have sex successfully applied muscle suit to our employee. Now, we must decide the type of personality. Loading choices. Loading choices. Please select from the following options. 1. Sad. 2. Armenian. 3. Cool guy. These are all types of personalities. Please select. I couldn't resist. Stop doing that. Stop Those are the three things Shut I am. You have selected the personality type Armenian. Downloading. 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 <laughs> Uploading. <laughs> Rezipping. Unzipping. Process complete. <laughs> I think we need a name for our new employee. Please give us suggestions for a new name. For our perfect employee who has silly hat, muscle suit, and the personality trait of being Armenian. You have selected Monte Melconian. Yeah. Please welcome Monte. I would Melconian. do stuff to Erdogan in Minecraft that I can't get into right now.
Great job. Uh, great job in our, our employee customization center grading um, next employee. I am not aware of who it is or what you did, um, but we are going to interview them right now. Yeah. So let's uh, get a position suggestion real quick for uh, the position that this this new uh, perfect employee will be interviewing for. Armenian. Hmm. Let's do uh yeah, uh, new ENS cast member, perfect, the one handsome boy. And we'll call a reference as soon as we uh, meet this person. Come on in. Hello. Hi. I'm Monty Melkonian. Hi, Monty. Uh, Mr. Grayson, nice to meet you. You're very strong. Um, happy to have you. You're uh, going to be interviewing to be uh, the next Everything Now Show cast member. As a first step, we should recognize that the Armenian people's fight for national self-determination is first and foremost the duty and task of the Armenian people themselves. We do not believe in benevolent friends, the inevitable triumph of justice, or covertly and cleverly manipulating the superpowers. Hey, Monty. If we are to achieve national self-determination, then we ourselves, the Armenian people, will have to fight for it. We believe in the power of organized masses and the capacity of our people to determine their own future. We believe in revolution. Monty, we didn't hear any of that bullshit you just said. Can you scoot forward? No. You're not on mic. Come on, you didn't hear any of that bullshit you just said. Oh, yeah, you did. Um, go off, King. <laughs> um, any, uh, any fun <clears throat> characters that you like to play? In view of our strategic goal, and in keeping in mind that the objective conditions within Western Armenia have made it necessary to reevaluate the future status of that region, vis-a-vis -vis the Armenians. We have argued that the much vaunted free, independent, and united Armenia is neither attainable nor preferable from the position of interests of the Armenian people. Propagate, propagating this chimerial goal only depletes our already limited human and material resources and wastes time which we cannot afford to waste. Let's call a reference. Okay. Um, yeah, anyone on here that you uh, prefer would prefer to call? Oh, sorry. Um, I'm just did you just fart? Yeah, I, I don't Did you just fart during our interview? That's very rude. I'm sorry. Um, uh, yeah, get James Adomian on the phone. Okay. Me and him are best friends. Hi, this is James. Hey, James. James. Yeah, hi. How are you? Hi, this is Mr. Grayson calling from the Everything Now Corporation. Uh, I'm currently interviewing uh, your friend Monty. No, oh, you. he's so cool. Yeah, um, he's interviewing to be the the next uh, Everything Now show cast member. I was wondering if you. Uh, could oh yeah, fully him. recommend. Yeah, I think he's a great guy. He does a lot of really good work. Right. Um, I haven't seen. He, he's talked a lot about Armenia, but not much about like you know performance uh -huh. or uh, characters. Yeah, we do a lot of. Um, we've done some comedy shows together. We did two prof for a while out of the yard. Okay. We sold almost no tickets, and so we just spend seventy dollars every week to play to like a two like two people in the audience. Oh, is this seventy dollars to rent out the yard? Yeah, way more than that. Oh, it's more than that. How much is it? It's like three hundred seventy-five dollars. Oh, that's gone up. It's gone up a lot. Actually. We got a good deal. We got a boy's price. Oh, is the owner of the yard Armenian too? Um, I, just an ally. Yeah, just an ally. An ally. Love that. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> anything else that you could say to recommend? Not really. I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised. Normally, like people ask me to do voices and stuff when I'm talking to them because I'm known for doing like characters and stuff. Oh, got it. Yeah. Can you do? Uh, no. Can you do Snape? No. Tell him to do his parody of Bad Day. Can you? Do, oh yeah. Can you do your parody of Bad Day? Why? Do, why do people think that I have to always be on for them? Can I ask you that? Why do people think that I have to be just performing for them, dancing like a fucking monkey? It's kind of a bummer. It's not. Doing his funny bits. He's very funny though. Can you yeah, put me on the phone? Funny. Can you put me on the phone with Monty? Yeah, put your speaker. Hey, Hovanez, oh. how are you? Monty, this guy looked Turkish to you? Nah. Okay, he's safe then. All right. All right. Can you do your parody of Bad Day? <laughs> For you, Monty? Absolutely. So you had a good time. 
You had a fun night. It's really great to be your friend. Is that Thank good you. for you? Yeah. Incredibly humorous. Great. The um, right to self-determination refers to the right of a given population, usually a nation, to create its own future more and less free from external coercion, but within mm-hmm. the limits of the historical realities with which it's faced. Right. Um, do you do any accents? Um, no. Okay. I might do something where I'm like... You like start what something? A, what if a guy was weird? Oh. That's good. That's a good start. I might do something where I come out and I appear to be an occupation, but then you quickly learn I have an interesting slant on said occupation. Interesting. This guy's fucking awesome. Oh, okay. In essence, the ARF's present strategy does not differ from the strategy it pursued at the turn of the 20th century. The ARF viewed its armed propaganda as a means of introducing the Armenian cause into the arena of international politics. In fact, almost all of the ARF's tactics, armed or not, are still aimed at somehow convincing, quote, Western governments and diplomatic circles to sponsor the party's demands. This strategy is very dependent on foreign initiatives, and it implies a belief that the Armenian people's future cannot be determined primarily by the Armenian people themselves. Did you just fart while I was saying my thing? I'm I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to... Uh... I, I, I didn't mean to take anything away from you with, with that. Uh, just, uh, did I get the job? You did. You got the job. You're the new Everything Rush Show class member. Right. This guy's fucking awesome. Did you just fart? Yeah, I did. Uh, please welcome uh, Monty, Monty Malconian to the Everything Now Show. I cannot wait to unveil my first character, a construction worker who is weird. You want to give us a little taste of that? Sure. Can you... Oh, yeah. It's not supposed to lay flat. Okay. <clears throat> you want, like, a construction hat or something? No. Oh. This is my hat. I must always wear this hat or I get in trouble. Oh. You can put, like, a hat over it. You can put, like, a hat on a hat. In a way, I already am. <laughs> Excuse me, I work as a construction worker here. Yes. But I'm also a silly guy, and I'm going to try to talk to you about my children, even though I'm supposed to be doing business with you. Okay. Um, Thank you for your time. All right. We got time for one more. That guy was fucking awesome. Crazy. Wow. Chris Chalakin has got some stiff competition now. Yeah. Wow. Now they're Armenian. Well, great. We're we're doing great with the hiring so far. It's it's been pretty much everyone's gotten hired except for that one weird ketchup dude. Uh, <laughs> we are we have time for one more. So let us know uh, what position we're hiring for. Yeah, creative Steve, you missed yeah. ketchup guy. It was <laughs> it was so crazy. You're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go back to the VOD to really check that one out. Um, biggest boy, janitor, snorkel instru- instructor, lunch, lunch break, police, um, cats and baron. We'll go with tech support. We're going to go with, uh, tech support. These, uh, we'll be interviewing, uh, position for tech support. Thank you. All right. Send them in. Please come in. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Hello. Mr. Grayson. Hey, I'm just going to set up shop over here. Do, go ahead. Make oh. sure you're on the left side, please. Yell yep. really loud. Make sure. You got it. You make sure you're on the left side. I'm just going to come on over. Scoot closer to me, brother. I'm going to be closer on over. Guess what we are. Are you two interviewing together? Or, uh... Formerly conjoined twins. I miss it. I don't. That's the dichotomy. You were formerly conjoined twins. Formerly conjoined twins, do you want to tell them where? We were at the heart. So what we did is this. 
our entire lives. Oh, like a kind of a hugging. Position. Things are different for us now. I've never looked at a different person before. And then I got separated, and I was like, what the fuck are faces? I'm having a great time in my new life. I get to nut every day. It's terrible for me. I have nothing to nut on. <laughs> okay. Okay. I brought a knife. Is that going to help with this? Yeah, she put that away. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you brought it over. He's like, it's my separation knife. It brings me comfort. It helps me feel alone uh, uh, together in the world with the, uh, the world. We had no doctors. He just went a nice slice. I couldn't handle it anymore. I felt like shit every day. And I felt great. What's, you want to say your name now? I'm Goovis. And I'm Goovis too. And we're formerly conjoined twins. They didn't think that we would separate, so they didn't give me a fucking name. He's Go they're Goovis too. I'm Goovis too. You just changed that. Nice. Like Goovis, yeah. like in the number yeah. two? That res that's respectful. No, I appreciate that was a respectful that pronoun. Was respectful. Like Goovis in the number two? No, yes, like Goovis, like this like there's another like one. This, yeah. and Sometimes I'm Roman numerals, but like fuck it, who cares? Depends on the job. Depends on what you're applying for. And by the way, what are we applying for? You don't know what you're applying for. We um, walked in. And we were confident no matter what it was. Uh, Whatever we'll it be is. On for tech support. Fuck, well, that's the one thing we can't fucking do. I haven't touched a computer before because I've had a person in front of me. Um, what do you, what, the, what do we do? I don't, why are we a- Goovis, Goovis, Goovis. And Goovis, Goovis too! too. Goovis no, too. no, 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 I'm Goovis too. Listen, I don't have much time. What's happening? You two are dying right now. Oh, oh no! You were not supposed to be separated. We gotta get back together! I don't love that! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Get in the fucking handcuffs! I'm actually not going to do That's that. That's an optimistic approach, but do I'm going it. to fuse your hearts back together so you'll be facing I need you again. inside me! No, my ball, I'm never gonna go inside you. That was never part of the I deal. I need you back in me! Goovis, if you want to live, you have to go heart to heart. Goovis! I'll go heart to heart. There's no way I'm going inside you. No, I don't want to be Goovis too anymore! Go heart to heart. Do it! Oh yeah! Right. And now we're you? fucking oh, stuck like this. Yeah. All right, do hey. not move from this position. Oh yeah! Who needs the computer fixed? We got it. You're screaming right into my fucking ear. Well, I haven't had a person for a while, so I'm not used to it. Well, then just talk softer then. That's the solution to this. Okay, you want your own fucking personal ASMR? Do this. We can't all have a name. Do you have any questions for us? For me? I'm now one person again. Is this a hybrid position? Or is this fully in office? Ah, uh, hybrid. That's so good for us. We can be in office two and a half days. And we don't say half because we're two people conjoined. We no, literally can do two and a half it's days. It's purely schedule. I have a fencing class. And I work part-time at Barnes & Noble. You guys ever seen that movie Stuck on You? Nope. Nope. Pretty funny movie. What's it about? It's about conjoined twins. Well, I don't enjoy those movies because they always feel exploitative. You're still Matt fucking Damon screaming in my I'm fucking sorry. ear. sorry! You're getting louder! You're getting so loud! It's been a while! <laughs> Since I first laid eyes on you! It's been a while! Let's do the opposite of that song real quick. What's the opposite? It's, it's been it's, recent! No, 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 There's a recent person! It, uh, uh, and I have fun! Is this a reference to something? There's a know. song called It's Been a While by uh -huh. Stained. I'm trying to do the opposite of that. Who the fuck is Sting? Stained. It was a D. It's Greg Kinnear and Matt Damon and Stuck on You. They're pretty We're good. not gonna fucking watch the I movie! I have never seen the movie! I've only ever seen my brother's face before! Stop fucking yelling in my fucking <laughs> ear! Why? I'm gonna actually fucking kill you for real this time. You feel stuck. Oh, well the doctor said you were dying, not me, Goovis. We're both dying. We share the same fucking heart. We're both gonna fucking die. Well, I had to... What, I, who needs a heart when you don't have a brother? Don't turn away! I had to fucking cough. It's polite to turn away when yeah, we have I to know. fucking Cough. I know you had to cough. I felt it. That's the point. Do we share a brain too or a we, heart? We share everything, brother. We, sh we share fucking everything. That's awesome. I, I'm realizing I can only look at the roof forever now. I don't know what... Uh, I don't, I, you guys match 401k. Yeah. Nice. We'll nice. take it. It's we'll a Barely Brothers movie. 
It's a what? It's a Farrelly Brothers movie. Farley. I'm as pretty in, sure it's Chris Farley. I'm pretty sure as in we're fairly certain we're going to be like this forever. I'm excited to be with you, brother. Wish I could and say the my same. my brother, my brother. This who, is the exact dynamic they have in the movie. Oh, my brother, why are you trying to separate from me? Screen door slams, Mary's dress wing. Sing the opposite with me, right? What's the song? Thunder Road by Bruce Springsteen. Oh, Thunder Road, oh, my friend. I can't see! I'm in a way worse position than you are. I have to fucking crouch like And I'm leaning back. Mr. Grayson's office. Hey, hey, uh, this is Peter Farrelly. Oh, hi, yeah, this is Mr. Grayson. I, I, I made Stuck on You, I among other things. So Remake of The Heartbreak <laughs> Kid. Okay. Um, sucks. Sorry, I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Okay. They have that director of that film on. Who is that? End of the show. Please end the show. <laughs>
Let's raid someone. Who are we raiding? Hassan and Abi. Another town hall. We're raiding Cardboard Cowboy. Bye-bye. Who are we raiding tonight, Grant? Bye.